You have four? One, two, three, four. <laughs> They're so warm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like you got a furnace inside your sleeping bag. <laughs> I know. Good morning, uh, it's day four. We are leaving Cottonwood and heading back to Phantom Ranch today, only about a nine mile hike. Not doing any filming today. Um, it is so cold out, all our batteries are just going dead. Even our battery bank, my battery bank had three out of four bars. It's, it's dead now, Tracy's same thing. I mean, these were 22 milliamp battery banks. They died within eight hours. It's so cold. It was like seven degrees last night. Well, we made it to Phantom Ranch. Hauled ass. Made it in three hours. Three hours and 20 minutes, but we spent 20 minutes talking to another hiker on the trail, so we could have made it in three hours. But uh, yeah, we were moving to get here. It's only 10 to one right now. So we're gonna get in there, set up camp. We gotta charge up our batteries and just relax the rest of the day. So we'll see you guys at camp. Potentially, so it's only supposed to get down to 30. Yeah, see Nanook over there. Nanook coming across the frozen tundra here. It's, it's, supposed to, uh, it's only supposed to get down to 36 tonight. It's got to be 36. But it's it's real close to there, so. You have four? One, two, three, four. <laughs> They're so warm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like you got a furnace inside your sleeping bag. I know. <laughs> oh, you are unbelievable. They keep you so warm. You, okay, you got your gloves? Got my gloves. Okay, you got your hat? Got my hat. Got extra socks in case I need to put them on. Extra socks. It's only supposed to get down to 36 degrees tonight. It is. Do you hear that wind right now? Yeah, the wind is pretty, pretty brutal. I, I don't have a coat on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, it is Christmas Eve. It's about six o'clock. We're just getting in our tent to hang out here and enjoy the evening. It's a little bit chilly out. The wind is definitely blowing. I put rocks all over the tent to keep it from blowing away. The tent sites here are filled up. I think there's only like maybe four of them that do not have people in them. And all the cabins are full. Yeah, and all the cabins are full. Like, it's a full house down here at uh, Phantom Ranch. <laughs> Christmas a, Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve. There's a lot of people here. We had an amazing dinner <laughs> of a one inch strip steak. 
Oh, um, God. Baby carrots still with the greens on the end, mashed potato. I mean, oh, not baked potato. Yeah, you could smell oh. it. Like the campground is a quarter mile away from the ranch, from the cantina, and you could smell it the whole way walking up there. It's like, oh, good God, dear Lord. <laughs> But yeah, that was a great meal after three days, four days on the trail. 40 some miles already. Yeah, I got 41 miles down. Um, tomorrow is a big day. We have to hike up the South Rim. I think we're about 11 miles. Yeah. And we're going to have about 3,000 feet of elevation gain. It's going to be a slow going day. We're going to try to get on the trail by, uh, well, we have breakfast at the ranch at <laughs> 7 o'clock. Soon as we're done eating breakfast, our packs are on and we're up out of here. Um, and then we're staying at the town just south of town here to get a shower. Oh my gosh, so I nice. smell wonderful. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, well, we're going to hunker down here. So everybody have a fantastic Christmas Eve. Good morning, Merry Christmas. Uh, we are on our way up the South Rim. It's about 7.30 in the morning, a little bit later than we wanted, but we had breakfast at the ranch uh, waiting for us at seven o'clock. So we are gonna get going. We got about nine miles with about four or 5,000 foot of elevation gain today. It's gonna be a rough, long day today. It's kind of decent out weather-wise, it's 36 degrees out. So, we'll see you guys on down the trail. Just left the Colorado River. We are coming up to our first massive climb of the day. It's one that I kind of highlighted on day one. It's gonna be rough here. So we'll get on up this thing. Really not looking forward to it, but we gotta do it. We'll see you guys on up the trail. Yay! Not only are the climbs tough, but to had insult to injury, you gotta watch out for mule droppings. Turn back in. Mm -hmm. And we were way down in there. 
And we're right here. Oh, having a snack. By a cliff wall. <laughs> Made it to the top. About ready to pass out. Need some oxygen. <laughs> Someone's having a rough day out on the trail. Uh, took a nice 20 minute break. We beat the mules coming up from Phantom Ranch. That was nice. Just as we were leaving, they were coming up. Next stop will be the three mile rest house up here. Take a little 10, 15 minute break. So we got a lot of climbing to do now. And both of us, does it feel like it dropped like 20 degrees? Yes. Holy crap, it's gotten cold. So, all right, we'll see you guys on up the trail. Just took a little break at the mile and a half rest house. Yay, only a mile and a half to go. So that down there is where we came from. Then it came down and around and back up. This is where we're going over here and then eh, all the way up. All those switchbacks. We got probably about 1,500 more feet of incline. You can see where we have to get up to. About a half mile to go. Just got to get up to that top of that cliff right there. It. That's it. Travel Just right up there. Last turn. Tenth of a mile to go. What do you think? I am so happy to see the top. <laughs> rim to rim to rim. Five days, four nights. Uh, I think we're at about 53 miles. 
gonna go get a huge hamburger, drink a big beer, and fall asleep for about 48 hours. Take a shower. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely take a shower. So just shy of 53 miles, 52 and a half miles. But now we get to walk a half mile to the car. I am exhausted. That push up out of that canyon is just tough at both sides. North end's tougher, but either side is just gut-wrenching. All right, thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Okay, so we went from one extreme to another, from living in a 42 inch by 72 inch uh, tent to spending the night at the Venetian in Vegas. And this is our room. Come in the foyer, have a wet bar with the dining room, the bedroom, Tracy getting everything ready because we're supposed to go out to dinner tonight for her birthday with the bathroom, tub, shower. <clears throat> you can see into the living room there. Come out, walk down. There's the office, like I'm gonna do a lot of work. The living room, and then here's our view. Got the Mirage there, Treasure Island there, Trump Tower there, and the Palazzo. Yeah, completely opposite end of living in a tent for the last five days. This is awesome. <laughs>